Good morning, Nomadic Outlaws. How are y'all doing today? I just got back from Karen's channel, uh, Prairie Life. Um, I saw a photo on there of a twirling, fiery uh, ball of f fire <laughs> flying around. And I commented that I made one like that. I, I did uh, a photo like that a couple of years ago. So she writes back and she says, well, why don't you show us the technique, how you did that? So what I'm going to do is make a tutorial on how I did it. And then uh, if you'd like to follow, you could make your own. So you're going to need a few items, which I'll show you a photo, uh, video here of. And then uh, we'll get into the tutorial, guys. So hang tough. All right, guys, what you need is a wire whisk. Make sure it's wire and not plastic. You get this at the dollar store. And um, some steel wool. And you don't want to have it tightly packed in here. It's got to be kind of fluffed up. You can, you can pack it in there tightly, but it's got to be fluffed up. This won't burn very well. So what I did was I just took a scissor like this. You can buy the other different kinds of uh, steel wool that is not so tightly packed as this is. Yeah, once I cut this open here a little bit, I can fluff it up. As you can see, now you're going to get shavings all over the place, so make sure that you have a good clean place to do this. The fluffier it is, the better it will burn. And... You don't want to get it too fluffy, I guess, because then uh, particles just fly all over the place when you're when it's on fire, it comes out from on inside the whisk there. So once you get that fluffed up a little bit, you poke it in there. You would put some more in there and have it sticking out a little bit everywhere. Let me get rid of this here garbage. And <clears throat> this is the whisk. Once it gets nice packed in there, you tie a rope on the, <clears throat> on the other end so that you can swing it around. And then for the uh, camera, what you do here is I would set, make your settings at something like uh, F22 or even higher if you want to. Just so that you know that you're going to be probably in focus pretty good and uh, <clears throat> focus it to a certain distance away so that you know you're going to be 10 15 20 feet away from uh, where you're going to do this and uh, go out on a dirt road somewhere a prairie where there's not so much um, foliage that can catch on fire make sure you take a fire extinguisher with you and um, a tripod and then I would set it to either 30 seconds or bulb mode or <clears throat> so that the shutter is open for quite a while so uh, ISO 100 I guess uh, f22 and uh, 30 seconds will do and then you put it on your tripod and when you're ready take your 9 volt battery with you or a lighter let me get the whisk back in the you would take your 9 volt battery and you can touch it on here and it'll it'll start sparking and it'll light up <clears throat> and the kind of fluffier it is the, the better it will burn but then as you're swinging it the big particles will fly out of here so you just gotta watch because I had got some in my hair <laughs> my hair started on fire so watch out that it doesn't fly all over the place. It, you got a happy medium between too fluffy and not fluffy enough in here. If it's too compact, tight in here, it won't uh, continuously burn. Then when you're ready, you uh, set your camera on the tripod. You set it to bulb. You release the shutter. 
you go your 10 15 20 feet away light this on fire and then start spinning it in a um, vertical uh, circle not horizontal but vertical circle as you turn your body around several times until the fire goes out uh, you won't be in the in the photo um, because you're uh, you're, you're dark and what it's uh, what camera's picking up is light uh, from the burning embers I like to play with light uh, if there's no light in the picture you don't have you don't have a photo so I, I love to work with light and I, I, I do light painting and all different kinds of uh, photos I'll show you here uh, in this video some of the things that I've, I've done with with light painting and things and uh, smoke um, different kinds of smoke uh, different kinds of lighting I, I love I love uh, um, kind of sort of trick photography sort of and some of it is done uh, in Photoshop after the fact because it's just not exactly what you would see so let's get on with the tutorial guys so I'm going to go out and do the video and the uh, still photo of the burning steel wool, the orb. And like I said, spin the thing in a vertical, turning around and around and around until it's gone out. Got a 9 volt battery here. And I fluffed up some uh, steel wool. I'm going to take it outside. I'm going to show you what happens with a 9 volt battery and steel wool when we take a 9 volt battery and touch it on See that? You don't need a lighter. <laughs> Beauteous. So there's the 9 volt battery and the steel wool. I'm going to head out to the middle of the road there and uh, give her a twirl, guys. walking out into the road sparking it up and turn it vertically not horizontally this one burned pretty quickly just keep spinning even though the flames the sparks have gone out because the camera still picks up the the light and there it is that's photo number one and I'm going to set this all up and I'm going to do it again a second time. There, sparked her up again a second time here. Packed it in a little bit more tightly on the steel wool. And again, spin vertically and turn your body around so that it's on all sides. It looks like an orb then. And just keep spinning even though it's still only just glowing. It, the camera picks that up. Still embers flailing off the end there. Alright, there's that photo. Alright guys, I have a couple more for you of light painting and light things here. There's my truck a before shot. And here's the after shot. And these are water drops on a CD. This one here is smoke colored and then upside down. And then we have the smoke mirrored and colored in Photoshop, of course. Playing with the uh, Christmas lights in the background. 
far off in the background. Focus on the front. Front most. Fireworks are fun to do. Once you once the firework goes off, you would zoom in as it's uh, going off, and you get weird results, beautiful results. Then we have the moon. People think if you take a picture of the moon, you got to leave your shutter open for a long time, but no. Make it about two fiftieth of a second or five hundredth of a second. If you guys do go out and make a photo of your orb, please, by all means, send it to me so I can post them on uh, on the next video here. And I'm going to put out some more videos on uh, light photography, uh, painting with light, and all kinds of uh, different uh, photos and videos on light. Love it. Thank you, guys. Thanks, guys, and thanks, Karen, for the uh, inspiration. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed all the photos. And uh, thank you very much. See you all on the next one. Stay out, those guys.